Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this regular octagon, as you can see in this figure, such that these two line segments AB and AC produce an angle X. And now we are going to find the value of this angle X. And just keep in your mind that a regular octagon is an eight-sided polygon whose all sides are equal in length. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon. And here's our sum of interior angles of a polygon formula, 180 degrees times n minus two, where n is the number of sides. And since we are dealing with the octagon so our n value is going to be simply 8. So the sum of interior angles on this uh, octagon is going to be simply n in our case is 8. So I'm going to replace n by 8 minus 2 times 180 degrees that is going to give us 6 times 180 degrees so that means this turns out to be 10 80 degrees and here's our next step let's recall the size of each interior angle of a regular polygon and here's the size of each interior angle formula interior angle equals to 180 degrees times n minus 2 divided by n and at the numerator this whole thing is the sum of the interior angles of this polygon divided by total number of sides so therefore the size of each interior angles is going to be simply the sum of the interior angles are 1080 divided by n in our case is 8. So therefore the size of each interior angle turns out to be 135 degrees. So therefore all these interior angles of this uh, octagon turns out to be 135 degrees. This one is 100. 35 degrees this one is uh, 135 degrees each and every angle is 135 degrees and here's our next step let's recall straight angle property and let's focus on this point c this angle is 135 degrees we know this whole angle is 180 degrees so therefore this angle ACD is going to be a 180 minus 135 is going to give us 45 degrees and likewise let's focus on this angle B which is 135 degrees and we know this whole angle is 180 degrees so therefore this angle is going to be ABD is going to be 180 minus 135 is going to give us 45 degrees. So therefore our angle ABD is 45 degrees and our angle ACD is 45 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this point D. We know this whole angle is 135 degrees and we know that this whole angle is 360 degrees so therefore this angle is going to be 360 minus 135 degrees that is going to give us 225 degrees so therefore this angle bdc turns out we are 225 degrees and now let's go ahead and focus on this quadrilateral abcd and now let's recall the sum of the interior angles in this quadrilateral ABCD. And here's the sum of the interior angles of a polygon formula, 180 degrees times n minus 2, where n is the number of sides, where in our case n equals to value is 4, since there are 4 sides are involved in this quadrilateral. 
So therefore, sum of the interior angles in this uh, quadrilateral is going to be 180 degrees times 4 minus 2. If we simplify this thing, that is going to be 180 degrees times 2, that is going to be 360 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the angle X. And we know that the sum of the interior angles in this quadrilateral A, B, C, D is 360 degrees. So therefore, we are going to add all these individual angles in this quadrilateral and set it equal to 360 degrees. Let's go ahead and do this thing. So we got X degree angle plus 45 degrees plus 200 25 degrees and plus finally 45 degrees equal to 360 degrees. Let's go ahead and add on the left hand side these angles. If we add them that's going to be 315 degrees equal to 360 degrees. Now let's go ahead and subtract 315 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So our angle X turns out to be 45 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 45 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.